it is hard to keep up with software changes, right? Let me help you understand in just a few minutes the most important features of the latest software versions in your favorite Cisco products. Cisco Nexus dashboard has embarked on a journey to become the simplest way to manage and operate data center networks. As covered in previous videos, it is a platform that runs on top of physical appliances or virtual machines offering three main services. First, controller, which automates network provisioning, allowing you to discover and or create a classical ethernet or VXLAN fabric in a matter of minutes. Second, orchestrator, which interconnects fabrics, sites, and clouds with automated VXLAN provisioning while centralizing their configuration via templates. And last, insights, which allows you to minimize risk and downtime through continuous telemetry collection and analytics, detecting actual and potential issues while providing you with extended visibility and better troubleshooting tools than the ones we have been using for the last 30 years. For example, ping and traceroute. Before, Controller was available for customers with switches in the Essentials License tier. Orchestrator was then added for those using Advantage, and Insights was only available for those customers whose switches were running the Premier tier. However, one of the latest changes as of November 4, 2023, is that a select number of Insights features are now included as part of the Essentials Switch License tier. This means that if you are a Nexus customer, whether new or existing, you should be using Nexus Dashboard. Why? Because you already paid for it, and it is a great platform to automate, manage, and operate your Nexus and other Cisco and third-party networks. You can find more about the features included in each licensing tier by visiting the Cisco Data Center networking subscription page. Let me now show you what's new in Nexus Dashboard 3.1 version, released in March 2024 especially focusing on one of its services, Insights. There were several enhancements made. However, I will give you my top five. One, unified image. Before, Nexus Dashboard required you to have a platform version, for example, 2.3, and then you would download apps independently. Each app, such as Insights, Orchestrator, or Fabric Controller would carry a different version. This would often translate into a software compatibility nightmare. Now, with version 3.1, you just download one Nexus Dashboard ISO or OVA file for either physical or virtual appliances, and it comes with everything you need. You just need to select the services you want to enable, and you're done. Direct upgrade to version 3.1 is supported from 2.3 and 3.0 versions. Just turn off your apps, and let Nexus Dashboard take care of the rest, transforming those applications into services as part of the upgrade process. Two, new and simplified UI. Nexus Dashboard now has a simpler and modern UI that aims to accelerate time to value and reduce the time you would otherwise spend understanding the tool. Whether you are in the admin console or toggle to any of the services you selected to run, you will find a common look and feel across all of them. In addition, every service now has the same left nav menus, which allow you to have a consistent experience no matter if you're using Insights, Orchestrator, or Controller. A new section called Journey also allows you to get started with an easy to follow set of steps to understand the scope of each service, identifying new features and recommendations with every release. Three. Standalone NXOS and small network support. Are you happy configuring your network from the CLI and you don't have ACI, nor you're interested in running Fabric Controller? No problem. You can now onboard standalone NXOS switches directly on Nexus dashboard to use insights on top of them and minimize risk and downtime. This allows every Nexus, whether ACI, Fabric Controller based, or standalone NXOS, to have full visibility on their insights now. 
In addition, OneNote physical deployments are now fully supported for Insights, which may be extremely useful if you have a small network or if you want to get started and test it without going to a three-node footprint or larger. Four, traffic analytics. With ND3.1, network admins can now detect latency, congestion, and drops without additional configuration. In previous versions, flow telemetry configuration was explicit, making users define BRFs or specific networks to collect flow telemetry for a given set of endpoints. With traffic analytics, this function is now pervasive. Simply change the telemetry collection mode from flow telemetry to traffic analytics and Nexus Dashboard Insights will automatically report latency, congestion, and drops for a whole fabric, detecting service categories running in your network based on well-known L4 ports. You can also create your own categories. Each category will have the same congestion, latency, and drop scores reported. You can drill down further and see a specific service, which is a combination of an IP address and a layer 4 port. Within a specific service category, you can visualize the same metrics or even drill down further and see all the clients that are connecting to such service following the same metrics. This is similar, if you think of it, to a call center. You can now visualize all connections going from a client to a server and even tap in a conversation by configuring an on-demand flow telemetry collection if you actually want to see the flows as they happen. This feature is available for NXOS and Fabric Controller networks in Nexus Dashboard 3.1 and will be available for ACI networks in 3.2. And last, BogScan. BogScan now incorporates a new UI with the ability to run on demand. You can now visualize not only active bugs, which may be actively impacting your networks, but also susceptible bugs, which may exist per version or fabric. We will cover this and many other features in detail, including how to configure them in future videos. So stay tuned. As a summary, Nexus Dashboard has a new look and feel that dramatically simplifies provisioning and operations for data center networks. In addition, it is now included as part of every licensed Nexus switch purchase. Therefore, if you're an existing or new customer, no matter if you run a standalone NXOS, ACI, or Nexus Dashboard Fabric Controller, you already paid for it. Therefore, make the most out of your Nexus network running Nexus Dashboard alongside. If you don't have it running today, talk to your Cisco representative to help you further or download it directly from cisco.com.